So we're going to be bringing out Peter Marks right now and also um, in the playroom is Robert Wood. So Peter, um, let me introduce what Robert Wood does. Robert does uh, soul readings, he does aura readings, he's a channel, he's an intuitive, he's psychic, uh, he's a crystal, he knows crystals. So go visit him right now if you want to hang out in room number one, and then right now we have Peter. So I'm going to introduce Peter. Vicky, is he here yet? Vicky? Okay, Peter is probably in a big conversation where he needs to be here. Peter, you're there. Waiting I am you. here. Oh, there you are. Time for you to go on. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been uh, bipolar this afternoon. <laughs> um, I am trying to calm down. I'm trying to relax a little. <laughs> All right, so, so take a couple of breaths. I know you've been excited for 30 minutes, and let me introduce you to... Uh, okay, sure. And... Um, and let me just double check and see that the fun room is in uh, the fun room is in action. Uh, no, uh, we have people going in there, but the speaker's not in there yet. Uh, Vicky, we need to get Robert into the playroom. Okay. Okay, he has an experience now. So coming up now is Peter Marks. He's going to be talking about meeting your soulmate. He's known. He's an international psychic and astrologer. He's a spiritual advisor and a coach. He is a uh, he's he's a celebrity psychic. Uh, he even did readings after the Grammys behind stage via Zoom or phone or whatever you did. But he's got connections to people, and he's done charts for very famous people, and very famous people call him. And uh, he recently just did the tar a chart of Tesla, and I can't wait to have a communication with you about what you learned about Tesla's chart. I'm really excited. So today um, he's going to be sharing about love. And he's a very well world known, uh, renowned astrologer, and he's also a radio host and a co author and an intuitive. He's been recognized by Huffington Post uh, writer, fame, power journalist uh, Marcos Papadop Papadatos. Papadatos, yes, correct. Papadatos. And he is a frequent guest on various radio shows and television shows. He provides very unique consultations that will uncover your soul path and provide understand you to your purpose and he's a co-author of a non-fiction book called the gift within us so uh today you can also find him in the playroom later on at 7 30 and he will be giving away a natal chart to somebody uh wait an astrology and psychic session 150 dollars value so he's going to be giving away uh no yeah 150 dollar uh door prize afterwards so stick around yeah so Welcome, Peter. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Please. Thank you, you got, very you got much. the stage. You're feeling good? You're grounded? You're back in your body? I'm trying to get more grounded, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm in the process. And wait, in one second, Angela Ford, don't you want to be in the psychic room? I get, where am I? I got a, I've got a message. It says, go back to the main room. I was in this. I was in room. I was in the psychic room. I was in two. If I had a reading, they said I was doing the free readings in eight in my room. And then I was in room eight giving these read. And it says to go back to the main. I was told to come back to the main. No, I sent, a, I sent a message to Angela, the one who's running it, not to you, to go to the Healers I, Network Lounge. And, well, I, okay, where should I be? Um, go, go into the into the Healers Lounge and go get appointments. You don't have to be here in the main room. Okay, and it's at it, five thirty when I do my my thing. Where am I going to do my where? What what room am I going to whenever I do my re teach remote viewing? Number one, playroom. Okay, that's it. There's only two rooms we got, the playroom. Okay, so where am I going? The two. Two. Click on join breakout room. Please move her back. I'm sorry for the miscommunication. I don't know how who told you that. Okay, sorry about that, Angela. Please move her. Okay, Peter, sorry. Please. It's please okay. Stage. Okay. Okay. I have been a practicing astrologer and psychic uh, for an intuitive for about 30 years now. And um, over the years, as I was practicing, I had more and more celebrities coming to me 
uh, for readings. My um, my astrological readings are based on Dr. Walter Koch, who is a very famous man, astrologer and doctor, for establishing a unique astrological system. And it's based on actually the day you're born, the month, the day, year, and the exact time you were born. And each one of us, when we come into this world, is divinely inspired. In other words, the from the hour, minute, and second you're born, the planets, the constellations follow us throughout our lives. Um, at the beginning of my um, career, I went into astrology to try and debunk it. And I felt at that time that I really wanted to repudiate it. And I wanted to show to the world that there was no merit. Consequently, and conversely, what happened is I fell in love with astrology. And as I fell in love with this astrology, I started realizing every day, every day that I was doing readings, more and more people were saying to me, oh, my God, I was looking for a purpose. What is my purpose in life? Why am I here? Um, are, do I have free will? Everybody here has free will. You, um, you know, back then I was also thinking about, does God govern our lives? Does the universe govern our lives? And I came to the realization that we do have free will, but what's happening in this life is karmically, we're bringing in karma from a past life. So a lot of people don't quite understand what karma is. Karma is either positive debt or negative debt that we owe to the universe, we owe to God. And it doesn't have to be negative. So I will set up, I will take somebody's chart and I will set it up. And then what I normally do, I call my guides in and my spirit guides are from different galaxies, Pleiades, they're from different planets, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And these guides come in and they, they take me on a journey with each person. And with that person, I'm able to tell you what is going on in your life, why it's going on in your life. I also found out recently I have the ability to heal. And what do I mean by that is when I tune into your energy from your chart, I can actually see where the blocks may be. I can see if you change your way of life how you can change your life. And um, I have been told by God, I've done thousands of readings from people that each birth date, each birthday has a significant uh, energy level, very similar to numerology. Numerology and astrology 3000 years ago during the Babylonian days were inextricably connected to one another. So as I started to study more and more, I realized, my God, there is hope. We, we, we have the ability to change our lives. And I even went further than that. I started to study charts of cities and towns and incorporation dates. Now, you may find out that the city that you're living in is not the most conducive place for you to be living. So if you change your city and your town, excuse me, it can completely change your whole life. So that is another facet of astrology. And I'm seeing more and more and more people are relocating now. They're going to different parts of the country to see if their life is any better. I'm going to tell you scientifically, yes. You can completely change your way of thinking. You can change your way of life. You can change your whole direction. And all it takes is we live in a duality world. And the duality world is the earth is somewhat on, we have the North and South Pole and we have good and evil. And I also learned that we have to deal with the polarity or the balancing of good and evil. And this is also 
part of our reality. We are here to go through school. This whole life is a school. So with this, we have to decide how we're gonna deal in school, which direction we're going in, and if we're happy with our lives. And if you're not happy, we have the ability to change. I wanted to open it up to now because I like to talk and I like to give lectures, but I also like to uh, take questions. So does that, anybody have any questions? Anybody? Okay. Um, would anybody? Um, I do. Uh, let me see here. Jennifer, would you like uh, a demonstration? You're muted, dear. I'm sorry. I just joined in. I didn't hear. Um, oh, so I'm sorry. Would you I like apologize. a demonstration of your chart? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hold on here. All right, Jennifer, what is your date of birth, please? June 29, 1963. All right, June 29 of 1963. Yes. Okay, do you know what time you were born? Oh, I think it's 6, um, 620 in the morning. 6 20 in the morning, okay. I think I'll just confirm, just hang on a second. No problem. Yes, 6 20 in the morning. 6 20 in the morning, okay. But not, not in the US, not in the Northern Hemisphere. I understand. I yeah. can see that now. <laughs> okay. Now, do you know what your karma is in this life? My karma. Yes. No, I don't. All right. Your family. Your family, your connection with your family. No. I, do I know my connection with my family? No, I'm saying your karma in this life growing up was your family. Yeah. How is that? What do you mean? How's that? All right. Like karma, in other words, the reason you're in this life, what your purpose is in this life. Do I know it? Is that what yes. your question is? No, I don't. I would love All right. to know. All right. You yes. said your birthday is June 29th of 63, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a master number. You're a master vibration of 11 in your birthday. That's oh. to vibration. That okay. means you want to know more about your spirituality. Yes. Okay. You're now coming into your awareness of spirituality. Are you aware of that? Yes. All right. I also wanted to say to you, you have an air trine here. What type of work do you do? Because are you anything around computers? Yes. You do. And what do you do with computers? Oh, oh I do a lot of research. And um, at the same time, I also, I also do, I'm, a, I'm an energy psychologist. So I'm also working with clients and stuff. Yeah. All right. Very good. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Are you going through any uh, career changes right now? Because I feel a shift for you. Oh, please tell me more. I don't uh, Yeah. I, I feel that you're going to be doing more and more research. Okay. All right. And I've been doing it for the last 20 years. So you've been <laughs> like... doing, all right. For the past 20 years. <laughs> Now, are you doing anything in management, anything around management? No, I have my own business. Oh, you have your own business. All right. Yes. The reason I said management is because I feel that your business is going to be growing and growing and growing. Great. Thank you. All right. Good and to know. Yeah, I feel that strongly. I'm also being shown here, you really know how to communicate. You're excellent with communication. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I just I'm do what I do. You, <laughs> okay, you thank the you. the ability to communicate, yes. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Um, I also am going to tell you this. Uh, they're showing me financial changes here. You're also very much a people person, are you not? Yes. You love to be around people away yes. from your job. Yes. Okay. This year is going to be an eye opener for you. And I do feel even more responsibility coming in for you. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. 
you're quite welcome. Um, who haven't I read? Oh, Thomas, you're on mute. Thomas? Oh, he doesn't hear me. All right, he's not hearing. Can you hear me now? Uh, would you like a mini reading? Yes, please, yes. Okay, just one moment. All right, Thomas, I would like your date of birth, please. December 28th, 1950. December 28th of 1950. Yeah, December 28th. Of 1950. Yeah. All right. I'm going to set up your chart. And then we're going to look at this. All right. Okay. Now with you, uh, do you feel an energy shift this year for yourself? A bit, a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Okay, a little bit. All right. You're normally very up. You're normally very optimistic. Would you say that? Yeah, I try to be, yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't like negativity and you don't like defeat. No. All right. Now, are you are you going through uh, a reevaluation this year? Because I actually see something. You've got a good business mind. What are you doing with it? Well, not much at the moment. I, I'm retired. <laughs> not much? No, no. What were you doing earlier? Well, I worked for many years as a doorman. As a doorman? Doorman here in New York, yes. Oh, all right, because I'm, I'm, you also have other abilities, sir. You also have other qualities that I don't think you have used as yet. Yes. Are you aware of that? No, no. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Well, I, I, they're saying to me, you're very giving. They're telling me you're very giving. You're very compassionate. You love people. But, and I want to say this to the group, I can tell you what your abilities are, but you also, we all can live up to greater levels of achievement. So, um, Wherever you are, if you're happy, that's wonderful. If you're not, you can also change that. Um, who else would like a, 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 a demonstration? All right, Leah. Okay. All right, Juliet, what is your date of birth, please? November 18th, 1994. All right, November 18th. Yeah. Of 1994? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there a specific question you may have? Mm, not particularly. Um, will work be good is a question. Anything What's career, that? Well, anything career or work oriented is helpful. Yes. All right. I'm going to, my guy, your guys are telling me this. Are you doing anything in the healing area? You There's healing ability around you. I, I'm a filmmaker, so I guess. Oh, a <laughs> filmmaker. All right. Nothing in that. Well, through your films, don't you heal? Yeah. Now, what specifically do you do as a filmmaker? I'm a director. You're a director. All right. This is going, you were, you're going through changes also that are be for the better. You're being brought up to another level. Are you aware that you channel a lot of your a, a lot of your creativity? Do you realize that? Yeah. Yeah. Does it come to you in your dreams, your sleep? Sometimes. Okay. And I'm going to also ask you this. They're showing me documentaries over the next two years. Hmm. Okay, now you love to analyze things, don't you? Yes. All right. With the analyzing, you that everything, everything's got to be perfect around you, correct? Yeah. All right. And how do you deal with that? Um, it's actually not too negative. It's pretty good. It is too good. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, are you working for yourself? Because they're talking to me about in, being independent in the future. Yeah, I'm a I freelance, but currently I'm working on a six month project. So, all right, that is. I'm going to ask you this too because they're showing me Discovery. They just said Discovery Channel. Mm, that's amazing. So I would work towards that. I would definitely work towards that. I also am going to ask you something. You need water. You need to drink a lot of water. Are you aware of that? Yes. Are you doing that? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, because in order to flush out your system, honey, your guys are telling me you need to really do that. I also want to ask you this, because they're showing me you've got good business sense, and I want, I want you to work with that business sense. Are you understanding that? Yes. All right. So how are you using your business sense? Um, by making smart work choices. Okay. Very good. And are you, do you have projects that are going on right now? Yes. All right. And are you, I want you to share those with the world. Is there any station that you're sharing that with? Um, in what sense? Um, TV stations, documentary stations. I mean, we have projects that are going through film festivals right now. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right. And they're showing me in the future, they just said to me, the possibility of con. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. So keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank Next you. Who else was, um... There's so many of you here. Um, Hi. All right, Catherine. Catherine. Can you hear me? This is Carrie. Thank you. Oh, Carrie, I'm sorry. Yes, hi. Oh, she, you were first? I, I think I just I spoke. Don't up. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll take this in order. All right, Carrie. Okay. And then Catherine. <laughs> you call my Catherine. name first, okay. but that's okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Can I put my name no in the list too after that? All right, Carrie, what is your date of birth? October 3rd, 1971. 1971. Okay. And let's see what the guides have to say. Okay, here. Wow. All right. You're coming into your own right now. Are you aware of that on the spiritual level? Yes. Your, 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 your third eye is opening up right now. Okay. Are you aware of that? Yes. All right. Now, I also wanted to tell you, you love people. You love being around people. You love socializing. Your, your greatest happiness is when you're with friends and others. Yes. Okay. Now, I also am going to ask you this. Um, I see your greatest form of connecting is through communication. Are you doing that in your work? Yes. And what type of work are you doing? Health and wellness. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly where you should be. Exactly where you should be. Okay. Do you have any specific questions? Will there be changes happening this year around the communication that it will start to move forward and not stay stagnant? Yes, there will be changes and you have the ability to change that. There's a very strong will with you. You're very strong willed and you've got to learn how at times to be diplomatic. Yes. Yes. So, um, yes, so I, I want you to start being more diplomatic and I want you to realize that not everybody, uh, some people are threatened by you. Didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> okay. All right, you need to, yeah, some people feel that you're very creative and you're very good at what you do. 
Okay. Yes. So this is going to be a very significant year for you. Got it. And utilize, utilize your gifts and your talents. Okay. Okay. Peter, you know, who, yes. thank you, Peter. We're, we're done. It's time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. I thank, thank you. you. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Oh, God. Oh, I made a little error. So uh, coming up next, we actually have Raphael in the playroom because he did a switch with Tina. So uh, Raphael's coming up in the playroom next at five o'clock. He's going to be channeling the angels and talking and also talking about sh the power of Shungite in room number uh, number one. And Peter, do you have a prize? Right? You have a prize for us. I want everyone to write in the chat a number yes. from uh, 1 to 100 if you want to win a prize with Peter to get a session with him for a half hour, I believe. Yes. And $150 value right in the right in the chat. And then um, coming up next, we have El Pellegrino, who's going to do a presentation here. Look at all the numbers. All right. They love you. Uh, we got channeled group message by Priestess El Pellegrino coming up next. So you already wrote your number down without looking at the screen, right? I did write my number down, yes. Okay. I was going to do 99. And also, if you did win a prize, um, we have to um, honor uh, a, a new prize for somebody else. Because last time we had one person who won three prizes. <laughs> wow. um, so I know they were a lucky person, but we really want to make it sure it's one prize per person. So... Um, Everyone gets a little of everything. So, Peter, are we done? Everybody wrote your numbers in the chat. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. If you want to win, you have to put one to 100 in the chat, and the closest number will win. Okay, hurry up, everybody. Now, Peter, what is, what is the number? Number 75. Hold it up. Hold it up. Uh. There on the bottom. Okay, I see a 75. Okay. Okay, let's see who got it. We have a D, an 81. Yeah. D, 81. Congratulations, D. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, D. I will thank be you, talking to you. you in the future. Thank you so much. What's You're welcome, the prize? Dear. What's a lucky prize? Oh, the lucky prize is a half an hour reading. Oh, wonderful. Yes, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. So all we need you to do is write your uh, email in the chat, send it to me personally, or put it in the chat. And um, uh, D, I don't okay. know your your last name or anything. So maybe okay, you... I'll put you. Uh, I'll put my email in the chat here. Yeah, yes, please. Okay. And and if you want to redeem your time today, if time allows, you can go to room number two and see if uh, he has availability to get that half hour today or in the future.